Okay. Okay. Uh, today is the third day of our FIDI International Organizers Seminar. Uh, Mr. Mahdi Abdurrahim will continue on the second part of the day. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Obey. Thank you, uh, everybody, for a patient. Um, we talk about technical officials. I said the appeals committee consists of uh, three members plus two reserves, one of whom may be a technical delegate. In the event that the technical meeting appoint the appeals committee, there should be addition to reserve member. And in this case, a member shall take part in the decision affecting a player of his own federation. So if we find that uh, a, a, a member is belong to the federation of a players who have this problem, so this case cannot take a decision, maybe set with the uh, member of the peers, but cannot take any decision regarding the case. And appears a protest against the decision of the arbiter of chief arbiter or one of assistant must be submitted and written to the chief arbiter within 30 minutes after the end of the respective game. So in this case, uh, uh, even uh, better to send to the appeals committee direct, not the chief arbiter, because sometimes the protest against the chief arbiter. So cannot you give the chief arbiter the case belong to him. Uh, in this case, so we have time limit when we have to submit, when we have to send the uh, protest. So, so according the regulation for each event, they mention some events after two hours, for example, world championship between uh, Carlson and Ian was after two hours. Uh, if anything, within two hours after end of uh, competition, is go for a protest, but which happened for the young, he sent after three days protest against decision or against the the uh, the things happened during the game, uh, and uh, uh, Magnus Carlson he touched the piece, but uh, uh, nobody was there. He was not there, and the arbiter was not there, so nobody seen the touch move. He was protest. He he said must play the touch move. But after what? After three days, this is not acceptable. So this is rejected. So within 30 minutes after the end of the respective game, this is depend of the uh, uh, depend of the competition and must must be written in the regulation before uh, when they send the invitation to the federation. Must written everything in this uh, regulation. Uh, a, a, a protest fee is 200 euro shall be payable to the feeder which is uh, refundable if the protest is upheld so if was the the peace committee maybe also decide to the refund the fee if it's considered that the peace was not popular so if the even that it was uh, the uh, the protest was rejected in this case, sometime in the appeals committee, maybe they decide, okay, we return money back, fees back, okay, no need. Uh, and some uh, organizer, no, we have to keep for the organizer as a regulation. And the decision of the appeals committee is final. So no more uh, appeals after a field com appeals committee. So a bending and takes effect immediately. And there is some competition, actually, that don't have a peers committee. For example, in, in the Blitz tournament, because they're playing very fast, so, so you have to go for next round. So uh, a peers, uh, the our chief arbiter decision is final in this case, in some competition, not all competition. The appeals committee shall keep a record of all proceeding and submit a final report to the feeder. So uh, after the finish the competition, uh, then the a chief arbiter or the organizer, they send all details, uh, report about the event, and they mention about appeals. What happened uh, during, for example, during round four or round three, it was a protest against chief arbiter or deputy chief arbiter and appeals take. Uh, take uh, talk decision about this case, and this was the decision. 
And uh, then we have designation of the winners. So at the end, we have winners. So the final ranking order of the players is determined by the number of points scored. So if two or more than two players equal in the last round, same point, in this case, we go for the tiebreak system. So if at the tournament, two or more players are tied for the first place or for any prize, the tie shall be broken as in accordance to the following criteria for Swiss event. So we have the start result of the direct encounters between the tied players. And this is, we have condition. The condition is must all players, tied players must play to each other. If three, three players, uh, they got same points, now the, if the, all of them play together, in this case, this uh, tie break system is work. So the result of direct encounter between the tied players applies only if all tied players have played each other. In this case, if one of them not played to other, so this one is not work. Then second tie break, uh, Buchholz cut one, which uh, 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 total number of points of opponents at the end of the uh, competition will detect the lowest uh, opponent uh, points. So in this case, uh, so we count for eight uh, players or opponents only, then we count. Uh, maybe uh, Mr. David, I played with the David. David uh, at the end of the competition, he scored five points. I play with Alex, he scored seven points. So uh, five plus seven and plus six and so on. So all my opponents, I will calculate the, the, the scores. So we go to the one figure. This is the figure is my uh, result against my opponent. This is calling Bochas cut one. So then we have general bochos. So we calculate for all my opponents, nine opponents, all I, I have to calculate and took their, their points. And at the end, I got one figure. This is my opponent's bochos. The greater, the greater number of games played with black. Sometimes coming, said the greater number of games uh, played. Uh, is not mentioned black or white, but it's general, it's greater number. Or sometimes it's greater number, the greater number of wins. Even it's not mentioned wins, what's wins? Black and white wins by default, by forfeit. Uh, uh, consider I'm not. So if they say it like this, so this is as general, the greater number of wins, meaning wins any type, maybe wins by default, by forfeit, by any case. So this is counted. And in some event, it's mentioned greater number of win with a real player. This meaning that if I got point by forfeit or by, this is not counted. But here is general, it's open, so greater number of wins. Then we have Defending champions shall have personal right to participate in the same competition uh, for next year. So if a champion of under category, for example, under 12 category, he was a champion for 2021. So he has a right to play for 2022 because he has a place. He was a champion. If he still in his age, for example, he was under 12, so he's still he's at under 12, he can play in the under 12, he has always place. But if he passed the, his age, so he can play for uh, other uh, under uh, uh, 14, but he still has play, can play, we have one place because he was a, a champion. So in this right, he has a right to participate in the same competition and that shall be according to free board and loading. So he has a place always. Before the beginning of the first round, a list of prizes to be awarded to at least at six highest place participants. So I have competition and I have to announce in our, my regulation, so prize money will be for six players 
10 players, so at least six players. So here you encourage players, give, give some support and to participate and because you will challenge uh, as to become champion and same time he, he, he earns some money. So uh, the special prize shall be published together with the result of their award. Sometime uh, the organizer announced, okay, there, there will be special prize for the, who's ELO uh, 1600, or special prize for the youngest player, special prize for youngest girl. So there's some special prize they give from organizer, but he has organizer uh, publish an invitation and regulation. The, the organizing committee shall also award gold, silver, and bronze medal to the player taking the first three places. So we have, beside the money prize, we have also, we have the medals or maybe we have cup for the winner. The prize fund, if any shall be stipulated in the invitation, all the taxes should be mentioned in the bid and in the official invitation. So I remember in, in, in one event was in uh, Asian Cities Championship. It was in, in Iran a uh, long time. Then uh, there were the prize money, but they detect some amount from prize money because they have a tax. So even the taxes must be mentioned in the regulation, must be uh, mentioned in official invitation and regulation uh, competition. So to be known, everybody, we have taxes. Otherwise, maybe if not mentioned and the winner got the prize and the fine, the prize is not complete, then maybe it was big, uh, big, big problem. Certificates. So as you know, after end of events, any event, there shall be certificates. Certificates shall be awarded to the players who finish in the top three position. Uh, and some even they give certificate for all participants. For example, is tournament is round robin with the 10 players, they give for everybody a certificate. Certificates of the participants shall be given to the player, FIDA, accredited trainers, managers, and FIDA appointed technical officials. So you can give to everybody and you can just give for a top three players. And uh, the above certificates shall bear the signature of the FIDA official, the organizing federation, and not more than two other sig uh, signatures. Why? Because this is official FIDA. So it's good for the a player, the good certificate from the organizer, which signed by FIDA and important VIP. And uh, okay, we carry in the, his room, and there will be some memories. And for the future, he can show his uh, family. Okay, I got certificate from from this uh, event. And uh, uh, com competition website and daily bulletin. Uh, as you know, the long time we, there were no internet, just we have bulletin. So people were waiting for this bulletin to publish, maybe publish same day or next day of the two, three days. And uh, the bulletins, any, many things, uh, information there about the players, teams, results, photos, analyze, and so on. So now, because of internet, now they publish as electronic bulletin, bulletin in the website. At the opening and the closing ceremonies, the FIDA flag must be displayed, permitted and the FIDA anthem played. So here uh, we have to know the such as uh, event, which is uh, FIDA official events, when the opening ceremony and closing ceremony, first of all, must be flag of FIDA everywhere on the stage and the corner and the tournament hall and they play the FIDA anthem. Now, just I went, uh, I will start uh, FIDA anthem to hear which is the official anthem of the FIDA. Let me check where I can find here.
No sound. Very strange. Hello again. Uh, Mr. Robert, can you hear me, please? Yes. Robai, you have problem? I can hear, yes, we can hear you. What problem do you have? <laughs> What's problem? Any problem, Robai? No, someone is saying uh, that there is a problem, but I don't, I don't Hello understand. Again. Uh, Mr. Robai, can you hear me, please? Yes, we can hear you. Obey, please contact him, see who's this guy. Okay. Robay, you have a problem? I don't know what's the problem is talking. Okay. Obey, answer him, please. Yes, okay. The name is even not appearing. He's not showing who's speaking. It's so strange. <laughs> <laughs> please write down the person who's speaking, Hello, please write again. down. Uh, Mr. Bey, can you hear me, please? Yes. Okay, yes, I'll, we can. I'll, yes, yes, we can hear you. Wait, Callum. Uh, Mr. Bey, a problem? Minute. Okay, shall we start? Continue or what? Yes. Yes, sure. Okay. At the opening, uh, uh, you are co-host, you can record. I will record and even you can record because you are co-host, okay? Okay, shall we start now? Uh, what is this? Let's go. Okay, Mr. Mahdi. Thank you. Okay, now we said um, competition website and daily bulletin at the opening and closing ceremonies, the FIDA flag must be displayed and uh, the organizer committee shall be responsible for the official website, which must be in English uh, because uh, uh, this is the, the official language. English must be in the website, then they can translate to other language if they need. And uh, where the necessarily in the other language. The FIDA logo must be displayed in all bags of the official website. Then the organizing committee shall provide daily bulletin and print of an electronic format which shall contain at least the top uh, 10 games from each event. Okay, now we have electronic chessboard. So after finish the game, automatically, automatically we have PGN file. So from PGN file, we can download and uh, keep in our uh, bulletin. Oh, must be in the electronic and publish. Uh, the report on the competition of the uh, the chief arbiter and the chairman of the appeals committee shall deliver their reports to FIDA. Why chief arbiter and why appeals committee? Chief arbiter, because he is responsible about the technical things during the game, uh, especially arbitration. So in this case, he has to write his report after the finish of the game about the winners, medals, certificate, if there is any title, norm and even title for the arbiters norm or for uh, IO norm. So he has to mention all in the report and it, even he has to mention about any things happened during the game. For example, after round two or three or any round it was problem with one player and chief arbiter decide to withdraw him or stop him to play this round or give him zero. So he has to write everything in this report. Appeals committee, they have to write their, uh, their report about uh, protest. Any protest was there and they have mentioned 
uh, we got protests and round the uh, blah blah round with uh, two players and was this decision taken from the appeals committee so so have report from our chief arbiter report from the uh, uh, from the uh, technical also from appeals committee even the technical uh, manager uh, the report shall deal with the course of the competition and include uh, supporting a document if appreciate copy of this report are to be extended to the organizing federation so i have to send my report uh, an official feeder event this responsibility of the chief arbiter to send direct report to the feeder uh, and copy to the organizer but other events international event the Arab chief arbiter they send report to the organizer and are organized by the uh, national federation rating officer they upload the the result uh, the feeder technical delegate shall submit his report on other overall organization of the event including any incidents which may have happened so this is technical delegate also they have his own report. Maybe he wrote something about the organizer, about the tournament hall. Maybe the lighting was not good enough. Maybe air condition was not working perfectly. Maybe maybe transportation was every day is late. Uh, the, there was some problem that he have to write in his report. Subject to why, why the put this re report because at the end the organizer before organize the event they send deposit fees for for uh, event so in this case we said in the default the, the deposit fees is refundable after successful or event but if the technical delegate uh, feed uh, mention something about the organizer it was bad organized in this case this cannot refundable Subject to this report, FIDA shall decide how much of the deposit performance uh, bond to be uh, reimbursed to the organizing federation. Maybe they detect money from deposit, maybe uh, no. Depend of the type of the cases and incident. Uh, then the report must be within two weeks after the closing ceremony. The organizing federation shall submit a written report and all the score sheets the feeders so all the score sheets must be sent in the world championship uh, between Carlson and Ayan uh, the organizer was FIDA and Expo 2020 so no more national federation was encouraged in the, about this event so the, my report as a chief arbiter I send direct to the feeder and the, all the score sheets. Okay, maybe you ask why score sheet they need. Uh, already we have PGN file and all, all games were published broadcasting, but this is regulation. So all score sheets, uh, original score sheets, I, I keep in the uh, envelope and I submit to feeder office. Uh, and my report I send after one day not after two weeks okay we have maximum two weeks but i send all my reports about the event the final result the winners and any incidents thank you very much this is was about uh, uh, today uh, and i have another more but uh, before uh, go for next subject if you have any question please i am ready to answer uh, okay guys first i will uh allow the unmute okay thank you Ustaz Mahdi um, uh, I'm just ask, uh, asking about reports. Uh, you have you have already mentioned reports for arbiters, organizers. If there is any standard format 
for reports because, for example, I can write a report. Someone cannot write in a good way. Someone is better than us. If there is, if there is a sort of a format in order to to judge the the, the quality of reports. Yes, I will. I will. I will see for. I will. I will send you tomorrow. Maybe by email, I will send you the type of report. But uh, if uh, every chief arbiter has on uh, design of report. My, my report is uh, actually uh, the normal report in the world format. I am writing all details according, uh, because they have, if you have steps by step, what you shall you write in the report? So uh, you have to write about the organizer, about the players, about the round, about the price money, about the tie break, about the, uh, any incidents uh, was there and about, uh, uh, Everything, they have some points you have included in your report. How you write the report in Word format, Excel, other, is up to you. But they need information exactly what they need and include the report, PGN files, uh, uh, final standing, cross table, uh, rating, change, and other. So you have add with your report. So this standard thing, they need feeder. But how do you make? Report create is up to you. Uh, maybe someone have a special application, but uh, I, I am always writing my report, my word document, but I follow the procedure. The points, exactly which point they need. Uh, maybe uh, if I find, uh, I can show you my report for FIDA. Just I need after, after break. So I'll give you break after that. And that during the break, I will find for you and I will, give, I will show you my report for World Championship. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. There are written questions, as Mr. Richard said. One question is about the medical insurance. And the yes, other sir. question is about the children proof if they don't have passports. What? Which yes, country was, is not, country was, is not uh, issuing passport? This is very strange. Uh, uh, it was uh, it was from me all the questions um, uh, about about the passports. Uh, well, it's clear it's clear if uh, if there is a group coming from another country, they have to issue their uh, passports for the children. But the the children within the same country. Uh, from birth, from age of eight, ten, no need to have a passport for a child. Uh, for that, uh, if the birth certificate, she had to tell if it is, uh, if it is enough or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this this is happen even here and sometimes in Emirates. So if you're not carrying the passport, the ID, national ID, national ID, the national ID, ID okay. Yeah, nice national ID because it's from government. This is mentioned all, everything about you. This is enough. Oh, oh, uh, date of birth of uh, certificate. You can born certificate or even this is the official. They're looking for the official. So for the official paper. Of, uh, yeah, official okay. Paper. Another question is about the health insurance or the social insurance. Uh, for example, for uh, uh, in Europe, uh, if you want to apply for a visa, uh, uh, um, it's um, you have you have to pay for an insurance. Uh, for the visa, can I ask the committee, the the organizing committee, to pay the the social, the medical insurance for me? Because I already uh, paid it for my team. See, this, this depends on the position. Because uh, um, when I was the chief uh, the, the chief arbiter in uh, for World School Championship in uh, in Bataya. In Thailand, the organizer provide me visa. Pro okay, actually, UAE no need visa for uh, for Thailand. Uh, we have many countries no need visa, uh, but they provide me insurance. So anything that happened during the competition is free of charge for me. The the, the official people, even for World Championship, Olympia, and other which the uh, continental. They have to provide for official people. The official include arbiters, press, 
and sometimes about the players invited player they give also insurance invited player but the normal players as you said you have to uh, pay for your insurance via any insurance company i remember when i uh, traveled to the italy uh, uh, i have congress there i have to attend my committee then i paid myself insurance during one company here uh, i think qatar insurance something in dubai i paid only something about 100 euro they make insurance for me so i have insurance in case anything sometimes even the the uh, the air ticket when you buy the uh, ticket from uh, airlines airlines itself also they give insurance you have to pay some amount money they give you insurance for the uh, uh, for the airplane anything happen then insurance health insurance even they give but you have to pay uh, some money Uh, I think he's asking uh, if, uh, if if the host country is um, is paying for the insurance, and the guy is also paying for the insurance for the visa requirements. So it's just like uh, paying twice. So okay, this the visa. This visa, some country can issue free of charge. Some some country you have to pay for visa. Now I remember in Dubai open before they they were uh, make uh, visa free of charge. Okay. But now uh, they, they give, uh, I think they pay them $50 something and for visa issuing. So they, if the guy uh, want to make a visa by himself, maybe cost him more than $100. But here they give $50, the issue for them. And this uh, uh, visa is a permit visa, is very special visa for uh, not only for one week or during that game, yeah, maybe for one or two months the visa. So they have this option. But it's depend of the organizer. Now, uh, FIDA uh, India announced for uh, Olympi Olympiad, they will issue visa for everybody free of charge, but they have deadline. After deadline, you have uh, to pay yourself. About the, uh, about the health, yes, even the health during the Olympiad is free for everybody. It's free. They have uh, some uh, medication, they have... Uh, some rooms, a special room, ambulance, everything. They treat everybody who participate in the uh, in the event. So if you, if you register online, this meaning you register officially. In this case, when you go there, you have you got cold, fever, something. Okay, they can give you some some medication. It's free of charge. Uh, but if you come, one company is not uh, a company with you, but is not registered officially, is not player, nothing, just come for sightseeing uh, for as a tour. So in this case, they cannot cover these people. Anything else? Okay, if they said to you, foreigner must to pay, I don't know what the system I am seeing for the official, official, such as me, I am, I will be a sector arbiter there. So for official people, they will be free for everything, cannot pay anything. Uh, for others, uh, it depends of the organizer. Some organizer charge you, some organizer not charge you, it depends of the organizer. Uh, Maison Narsh, Mason, please. Uh, hi, good evening, Mr. Mahdi. Thank you so much. Uh, my question, uh, as I'm working in a department and I'm following all the events arranging from A to Z, uh, so uh, usually you have something similar for what you said, Mr. Mahdi. Uh, for, uh, for example, for the World Championship uh, Olympiad or something like this in chess, do we have to arrange an entertainment, for example, for the opening ceremony or closing ceremony, or this is an optional. For example, from my side, sometimes we did, uh, we bring a musician or we bring freestyle sports. So is this as a must or just an optional in the chess? See, the important points in the opening ceremony, closing ceremony, to be uh, FIDA flags, uh, display the anthem of the country and, and FIDA, and the winners in the closing ceremonies, uh, winners, individual or teams winners. So this is important. 
any extra things is uh, okay this will be good for for the organizer some uh, organizer want to a uh, challenge for example dubai during dubai uh, olympiad 86 that time but not that technology so not that techniques but they organized very nice opening ceremony uh, many uh, people till now remember what was opening ceremony in dubai uh, other they start in philippines they use other system using the dancing playing uh, and some actors dancing people come and make others so i went to the philippines the other things was and european other things skating was we went to the skating there was a play and opening ceremony was in a skate, skating hall and it depends each country want to be the best you say see this um, my country see how was the closing or opening ceremony but uh, this is mandatory. Mandatory can is up to you what you need to do. Do open the not uh, say you have. But he said, don't make longer than ninety minutes. Ninety minutes. This is maximum. Uh, okay. I remember one country. I went there. They give certificate for everybody, more than four hundred. So we stay more three hours only to give certificate only. So this is very long. No need as short as possible. For that, even for giving a word in the stage, must be only three people, no more than three people. Uh, organizer, uh, chairman of organizer, uh, or chief of organizer, uh, president, he the president, and maybe a governor, one of the government. Only three people, no more. If you bring people on the stage, more than 10, it's uh, uh, not a good uh, example or good. Uh, uh, opening or cl closing. Uh, I remember in Arab countries always they bring many people on the stage and this is not good actually, not good look for the, when you take a photo and if you go for opening ceremony, it said 10 people pressing in one clock. What is this? Never happened. What's this Arab in Arab country? 10 people pressing in one clock, they take for group photo. Must be in stage three, maximum five. This is enough to be in the stage. And depend of country and different of the organizer. Each organizer has system. Maybe organizer. I remember in, in some uh, some country they use an opening ceremony only music, nothing else, and other only wording. Many speakers, the speech, the uh, give floor, this give floor. One hour just to give floor, speaking only nothing. So uh, it's depend, it's depend, depend. But the more important things. And opening a ceremony, the play feed the anthem and organizer anthem. And in the closing will be anthem of the winner, the team winners or individual winners, uh, winners for the medal. This is the important points. Uh, then some uh, some even they give prize to the everybody. They give, uh, for example, certificate to the sponsorship, maybe have 10, 10 sponsorship and the every one sponsorship take five minutes to come to the stage. This is very long uh, opening ceremony or closing ceremony. Okay, uh, Mr. Mahdi. Uh, yes. Well. Thank you for all of all uh, for all information in this uh, session. Uh, but I have a question about uh, the double round in the official. Tournament of Fidi. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Sometimes uh, some organizer make three day uh, of uh, double round and give no, one no. day free. Day. Okay, this is not official. In, oh, when I say yeah, official okay. feed, feed the official event, the list of uh, events which I mentioned in my presentation. This is the feed the official uh, event. Uh, maybe this okay. is not FIDA official, maybe this is local uh, event, or maybe continental. If the continental, even this is wrong, cannot be. The continental belong to the FIDA kind of officials. For that must be not more than two rounds per day. Uh, what happened after uh, they do that? Is that uh, cancel the, the tournament or, or this? Uh, no, uh, uh, okay. It's okay. I think this is okay, but... Uh, have uh, the FIDI will point them about this. 
No, FIDA not accept from beginning because as I said, you have to send before you start any official event, six months before you send to the events commission. Events commission, they will check all article points in the regulation and the invitation. If they say anything wrong, from beginning said, please change. Don't make uh, three rounds, make only two rounds, two times uh, two times during the game. So this is from beginning. So the, uh, before it was not system, no system like this. You have to send to the events commission. They will check within one month, reply to you. Okay, no, your regulation is okay. You can uh, send uh, invitation. If nothing, then no, please remove this article, add this one, add this one, replace this one. So cannot be now. Nobody can organize three. If the uh, organize three, this means he didn't send to the FIDA. He didn't take approval from FIDA. And FIDA will not consider by this event. Maybe he cannot rate tournament, can even not uh, give anything uh, tighter and norm, anything. Uh, they have system, uh, you know, which I talk about the system FIDA. You have to follow the system, the date, deadline for bids, deadline for submitting report, deadline for uh, publish the uh, regulation, invite people, the all deadline. This is called FIDA official for that. They have, you have you have follow a FIDA procedures about the how to organize the events. Okay, that means it is uh, no more than two days of the round. Yes, no more than two days. But if this event is a rating event, only rating, not give a title, uh, this is uh, so okay. For example, you have children under 10. So uh, it depends because according to new regulation, FIDA regulation for time control, if, the, uh, uh, if you have players less than 1800, so it's ELO 1799, so less than 1800. In this case, you can play one hour, one hour only. So this meaning one hour, 60 minutes, 60 minutes each, or 30 minutes plus 30 seconds. So in this case, you can play three rounds per day, no problem. This is rated rated player, not give title, and for, for kids below kids belong uh, for the kids or for the other players belong uh, uh, below of 1800 rating. So in this case, you can play three rounds, no problem. But if okay. you go for title events, uh, in this case, yeah. uh, you have to play at least two hours for each, four hours total. And here it must be two days uh, or two times double round per, during the events. And last two days, don't make double round. Uh, if uh, there is more, that is, will affect the title. Yeah, um, uh, title, uh, for title, not... for, yeah, for title, if there is the title, so maximum two and maximum 12 hours you can play per day for the titles. So if, if not for titles, for rating only, uh, below the 1800 rating, in this case, maybe you can play three rounds per day, no problem. Because it's not affected the title. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Other else? Okay. So we finished this subject today. Let's uh, see. Uh, after this one, uh, today I will send you this presentation in the PDF uh, in PDF for everybody. So I will send to Mr. Obayan, Officer Obay, they forward to you. Uh, okay, now let's check with the other one. Let's go. On. Okay, share the screen.